Hey everybody, this is Tea Time with the Diva. Grab your tea, grab your coffee, because we're going to get into it. This Tea Time is dedicated to Kim Zosiak and Corey Behrman. You know what? I, I, I stopped covering them because it was getting to be too much. But this latest fight between them, it's very scary. And, you know, I usually don't do the toss it back and forth ping pong thing. But this video I saw was really interesting in so many ways. Because I'm thinking to myself, if this was a different couple, the husband would have got locked up. Croy was playing in our face. Because he wanted to make it seem like Kim was the one that was highly problematic. But he's problematic. He's unhinged. And the reason why he's unhinged is because really he's angry at himself. He's angry that he sat there all this time and allowed the situation to get to where it currently is, where they have zero dollars and now they have no home. He's trying to blame this thing all on Kim. But he owns responsibility in this situation. And Kim is sitting there just being oblivious and is pissing him off even more because she's still going to get her hair done, buying her clothes, driving a Range Rover, as if nothing is really going on. But this latest fight is scary. And I really feel like the court should step in. One of them need to leave that house. Like, now. That's how bad this situation is. Listen, guys, we're going to get more into this story right after this. We're going to go ahead and share this screen. Um, this is actually very tragic, this situation. So, Corey Behrman is supposed to fight with Kim Zosiak on police body cam. But see, here's the problem I have with this situation. There's so many problems with this situation. One, how much footage and how many times do they need the cops to be called to their house before something different happens? All jokes aside... If something happens to Kim, this on Georgia Police Department and everybody needs to be responsible. Croy is unhinged, in my opinion. Okay, so Croy Behrman was in a fit of rage when cops showed up after an explosive fight with Kim Zosiak, where things got so bad, one of their kids called 911 to get some help. This is not the first time the kids called 911. This is sad. Let's listen. You got a beautiful property. Hey, police! Come here, Mr. Beerman. Beerman, come, come talk to me. What's going on? It's just a bunch of nonsense. All right, come talk to me. Ma'am, stay right there. What's going on tonight? We're just having an argument. About what? About our fucking life. Okay, what what happened? What, why, right, it's why, our why, life. It's destroyed. But, okay, what started the argument? Her inability to fucking solve problems. Okay, or address or do anything. Come over here. Why? Now I don't want to talk to you, but everything's on her. I don't want her to start screaming at you and, and have a whole it's a, argument. It's, it's nothing but an act. It's all a bunch of bullshit. What? What is? Everything she does. Okay, what does she do tonight? Everything. 
everything, dude. I, I can't, I'm not going to do this. Because this right here does nothing but fuel her bullshit. I'm not doing this. This is narcissistic behavior. I'm not doing this. I'm just trying to figure out what going There's on. nothing to do. You shouldn't even be here. Who it called was, you? Your kids. Who, what kid? You have kids? I don't know. Whoever's in the house. So We've what, been outside what, this whole time. What? 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 They can still what hear you, boy. Our life. What? Our life. Okay, and it's so fucking why, destroyed. Why? Why is it getting so heated? Because our life is destroyed. What don't you understand? There's no money. There's no house. She wants. We're, we're getting divorced one day, and we're not the next. Okay. She's fucking other men. What do you want? Just calm down. Calm how, down, but I don't yeah. have a fucking life. He's talking to the cops like that. I don't have somebody who won't fucking listen to me. Calm down. Oh, calm down. It's interesting. They're just telling her to calm down, but I'm telling you, if that was somebody else of another race, they would have got locked up. I just feel like I'm, he's just been screaming at me for like two hours, like a crazy person. Like a crazy person. Okay. What, what was the argument? I Why are we arguing? Well, Why is he screaming? I just want to get a divorce. Like, I just want this to be over. Like, he wouldn't let me leave this morning. The gate, like, is broke or whatever, so you have to, like, manually open it. He jumped in front of my car. I have all these videos. Like, he's blocking me from leaving. And he just started yelling at the car. I have a phone call at 5.30. I can't do this right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, when are you moving? That's fine. And then I left. I, I got, finally got out of the gate, and I was walking in my robe down the street. And I was, like, yelling for help to my neighbor, like, please, somebody help me. He's screaming, screaming in my ear, grabbing my robe, like, the back hoodie of my, of my robe. And my robe. I meant to, like, physically, the most could not take this any, any longer. And my kids, he's like, get out of the house. If I go, like, walk in, he kicks the kids out. And then if I go, if I come outside, he's like, get inside the house. Like, Around 11.30. I had a hair appointment at 12 hours. I'm hiding in my car, but he stuck his arm through my window so that the window stopped going up. This morning he did that? No, saying? just now. Like, okay. I'm, I was blocking, putting my window up. I was talking to my son right here. And then he came over and stuck his arm through my window. So the window is, that's why it's down. Otherwise, I would not have my window down with this crazy person. Mm -hmm. This is the only place I feel safe. And if I can get him to calm down, I can try to leave. This is why my car's back and I never do this. Today I did this when I got home from my hair appointment. So I can, like. So around 11 a.m. What is he doing? He's, he's talking to an officer. Oh, he's yelling. Something. I'm around the corner in the driveway. This is tragic. Stay right there. No, she's here. Sir, I did not give you authorization to be in my home. You're going to get pushed for it. I did not give you authorization. I know my rights. I know my rights. Okay, then stop talking if you know your rights. I'm going to tell you your rights. I'm going to inform you your rights. We're here for a lawful reason. To investigate a domestic violence situation where the person is outside. Your kids are the ones that call. The dog went out. Then I can bring them outside. But you do not have the authority to be in my home. You're going to stand in my home. You do not have the authority to be in my home. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is very sad. Hold on, guys. I got to get back to this story. Give me one second. Uh, sorry, one second. I kicked out of it by mistake. There we go. Hold on. <clears throat> Ooh. So Corey Barron is supposed to fight with Kim Zosiak on police body cam. Corey Barron was in a fit of rage. That's an understatement. When the cops showed up after they're supposed to fight with Kim Zosiak, where things got so bad, one of the kids called 911 to get some help. In new police body, body cam footage obtained by TMZ from an incident on November 20th, Corey screams at officers, his life with Kim is over. Officers try to get Corey to calm down, but he continues on, yelling about there being no money and no house. 
At one point, Corey of course, Kim, a total narcissist, and accuses her of manufacturing their drama. He's enraged, continuing to yell, the couple's life is over, and even accusing Kim of effing other men. Eventually, these officers calm Corey down and get him inside to further talk things out. Did they really? The 9-11 um, call came from one of the couple's four kids who reported they believed Corey had gotten physical with Kim, but neither parent seems to give that any validity. Let's listen to this one. Kimberly, you out here? Yes. Hello. What's going on tonight? Well, I need to know what's going on because your kid's called. So I need to know what's going on. Okay, Joe, I'll call you back, okay? Come on. You're going to talk to your kids. From what your kids have been saying, you guys have been arguing. No, I, so, I just saw I you arguing. crying. No, no, he said he saw you crying. Your kids did not see, did not say anything turned physical. He said no. he thought he saw something, he but it sounded head. like more Croy was just trying to get you away from him, like putting his hand no, out he like this. Not let me leave. That's so, what I'm saying. Yeah, whatever. I'm just saying yeah. Croy was just doing this with his hand. And yeah, and, and fucking trying not to get me to leave, like like this. Yeah, like, and that's, like this out, out of the gate. I was trying yeah. to please leave me alone. Like I'm, I got it down the road. I was walking down the road in a bathroom looking like an idiot and he's screaming, I don't give a fuck about these neighbors, you dumb bitch. Like just screaming in my ear. I don't even care. I, I don't, he doesn't want the divorce. That's the problem. Yeah. No, I don't, I can't. So it's a co for. Okay. So <laughs> car lights in the driveway? It's a bunch, there's, there's, they're out in the street. So. Oh, I see lights there. I don't know. Oh, so maybe a flashlight. Yeah, it's a flashlight. Yeah, it's a flashlight. Yeah. My kids, I just want to make sure my kids so, are So, y'all were arguing over the jewelry tonight. No, 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 no. He stole the jewelry. I just had to let it go. So, what's thought, what caused that? What started the argument tonight? Uh, nothing. I was this morning. He's like, this is your last chance to have a conversation. I said, I don't want to have a conversation. This, I just want a divorce. I can't, I don't want to do this. Like, just leave me alone. It's okay. And then I had to. He's saying my, that. Like, he's yeah, saying that he I'm doesn't want, him, the, he doesn't yeah, want he the doesn't divorce. He doesn't want the divorce. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And so, and, and this person that I'm dealing with right now is not the same person that I married. So it's been hard for me to like make a decision because it's so sad. You know what? With this new footage, I do believe her. Forget about how I feel about her. I think she's messy, but I believe her. I do believe her. As for Ken, she's pretty hysterical as well, sitting in her Range Rover as she explains her side of the story. Claiming Croy flew into a fit of rage and refused to let her leave the house. She says she began walking down the street in a row and asking neighbors for help before returning back home. Kim explains early in the day, Croy had asked her to sit and chat about their pending divorce. According to Kim, Croy doesn't want to go forward with it, even though he's the one who filed and Kim wants it to be finalized. Through her sobbing, Kim claims Croy is not the man she married and believes he's mentally ill, claiming she's scared at times to be around him. Something is going on with him, for sure. You could tell from that video. somebody 100 feet away. Right. That's why I'm asking. So right. you were following her around the house while you guys were like arguing. We were okay, but when she moved from one room to another, you went to that other room, correct? <laughs> Listen, no lines have been crossed. As far as from I know, I'm just trying to get statements so we can figure this all out. There's, there's, no, there's no reason you guys don't even need to be here. This is trauma drama. Okay, and that's what I'm trying to get to the bottom of. To figure out there's how can we figure there, out this The drama. bottom is there was a verbal argument. That's it. There's nothing to figure out. Okay. You, all right. So apparently it's again with the property and stuff like that. You know, no, no, listen, Croy. Listen to me. Croy, I can't hear you when you walk away now. About 10% of what she says actually happened. If that. 
Well, that's why we got to talk to everybody. Because, like you said, I mean, what she says is somewhat true compared to what he said, and somewhere is in the middle. Lori, do you want a case card with a case number? So, she's going to grab some things, she's going to get in the car, she's going to leave. She's going to not come back tonight, from what she says, but we tried to play this game last time, it didn't work out so well. That's all we can do tonight, okay? She says she's going to go somewhere for the night, that's what's going to happen, and then we'll leave it be, okay? While we're here, can you do us a favor? If he opens that door, will you please not create and exacerbate the issue or create another issue? You, can you go in, get whatever you need, and then come back out without causing another issue? But I can't help you. We shown all this footage, and one of them needs to. Be it's hard for me to hear. We can't hear. We can't really force one way or the other. So we, what we're trying to get is at least the important stuff. Issue. If we, if nobody can compromise. Well, I know you'll have attorneys, so you need to talk to your attorneys about. Well, this is this is new. I've been living in the master. I've just so it's just a sticky situation for us because he's also it's also his property there's no manipulation i don't want to be with troy i've not wanted to be with troy for a very long time this is where we're at where we're at i just want to speak in my bed it's an obvious to me i'm just not so like i'm not a dog i don't i've been speaking in my bed for three months I get that, but that's where well, we need to come up with some type like of compromise. Because I've been compromised. I understand, but throughout the whole process, we're going to have to compromise a little bit here and there. Okay, so we can't just kick in the door and force them to let you sleep in. Yeah. That's just going to make the situation well, worse for you when we look, leave. Ma'am, so what we do with mediation? Either do you, if yeah, you want to get myself. if you want to get some things out of there, yeah. I need you to agree because he's not going to open that door if you don't agree. Listen to me. If you do not provide access to that. Sir, if you continue down this road, it's not going to go well. Because you are you are now making me feel very uncomfortable and unsafe. I need you to calm down. I want you to open the door so that you can show me your hand so that I can be clear of your intentions. Your safety will not be in jeopardy. You can close the door after we leave. But she's going to be in here. And who's going to remove her? She has agreed to not stay in that room. She has agreed to go in and get the property and come back out. Can you believe her? Do you know her? Look, sir, it doesn't matter. I'm you here to resolve the issue. We have to come up with some kind of compromise. You're not listening to me. I've been listening to you for the past 10 minutes, sir. I've been listening to you for the past 10 minutes, sir. I would like to have stuff that's important to your health. Okay, that's that's the priority. Okay. Sorry, I'm sorry about that. I don't know how that happened. Did he do that? I think the... Did he just pitch something else? I think the... My comforter, I got a work blanket. Sad that one was beautiful. The door that's now wide open downstairs, she drilled out. You can screw it shut. You can, there's any number of things that you can do. Screw it shut while I leave this open to go get my screw so she comes barging in here later. It's wild, man. You guys got to work that stuff. This out. is wild. I can get my mask and get my own stuff. Or somebody can let me stop somewhere. Okay, I'm surprised we even got all this. Not a blanket in her phone. Not on the highway. It could be possibly 30. What's this movement? And a toothbrush. You know that. Silver container of cream. You know that. I'm like, silver container of cream. That's it. This is the last thing. We use it in police time to get her smoke out of the Mr. Fairman, we have one last item to request. I need my, I need my there is a, a silver container of 
neck cream that she's requesting. It's under the sink, she says. Oh, it's in a drawer. Oh, in a drawer. Well, so it's not there. Look, look, he, he gave us even the comforter stuff, so I find it hard to believe he's like, no, I'm not going to get this. Could you humor me and take another glance, see if it's somewhere else? Do what? I do appreciate you being reasonable and grabbing the other things that we asked for. He's all the drama. Kim Zolciak and Corey Bierman's financial situation has gotten so bad. It that can have gotten worse. We talked two days ago about this. Way worse. Kim has gone to the extreme of posting a fake pregnancy announcement about her daughter, Brielle. So she put this on her Instagram, and you basically have to go to a link, which then is completely misleading. To make money? Right. She's getting a financial kickback. So every time people clicked on that link, oh Kim God. is pocketing money. Like the narrative she said, she put up like a fake sonogram post. So everyone thought Brielle was pregnant and then they click it and it's like, not that. I just don't get it. What? What don't you get? There's something we don't know yet because it's like they're together, but they're not together. They call the police. It's got like, it's got like Jussie Smollett vibe kind of. You're like, <sighs> but the police stuff makes it sort of, that's evidence that it's a real. Wait, there were police with Jussie Smollett? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. So officers keep the two separate while talking things out. And just about as quickly as things escalated, they appeared to cool off. Kim agrees to leave the house for the night, and Croy stayed behind with the kids. Croy is unhinged. It's a point blank in a period. I think that, you know what, right now, this thing seems like maybe your typical um, couple fighting, going back and forth, um, waiting while they get a divorce. Um, and although Croy went to the court to get a divorce, he ain't ready to leave Kim. He still wants her. I do believe that. This thing is a whole hot mess. But I also feel that he gets enraged. And, and, and you know, you ever watch that show Snapped? He could snap and Kim could not be here. I think the judge, he ordered them to be in separate parts of the house. Croy upstairs in the main room and Kim downstairs in the basement, so to speak. But I don't even think these two should be in the same home together. This is damaging the kids for sure. More damaged than they already are damaged. And he's like, oh, we're arguing outside. The kids can still hear you. Because I'm sure the argument started inside the house. I'm starting to feel bad for Kim. This is tragic, guys. I may put this on trending topics. I don't know. I I'm exhausted with this. But now this latest body cam, and this is the body cam. I thought it was a new call from the kids. But this is back in November when we heard that one of the kids made the phone call. And it's tragic. Listen, guys, chat with me in the comments. And when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. Let me know your thoughts now that we have seen this body cam, okay? Um, I, and let me know what you think should be done. I honestly feel that one of them needs to move out of this home. Before the next time the police comes, it's not going to be good. Someone's going to be leaving in handcuffs and not in a good way. I also will say this. If Croyd looked different, the cops wouldn't even been at the house this much because he would have been getting arrested probably every time they came. But that's a whole nother story for a whole nother day. Listen, guys, chat with me and I will chat back. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. Everybody, thanks for watching. Don't forget, share my video with your friends and family so that they can come to my channel and get to know me. Also, hit the like button, and I'll see you on the next video.